I'm excited to share uh, new ideas I have. Uh, it's related to joining two sheets of corpus together using something I call a hot fusing technique. In the last two months, I've been experimenting different way of fusing the sheets together. And I experiment with different materials. Finally, I think I come up with a very good solution. And it's very easy to do, no extra cost and you can do it at home. This video will demonstrate how I do it. Actually, it's the first time I do it with this size of the sheets, with this size of the sheets. And uh, you can extend it to a uh, larger sheets. The, the goodness about this technique is it will create a watertight seal if you do it correctly. Now, it takes practice to make it correctly. This time is the first time I'm doing with a bigger sheet. I learn how to make it better next time if, if I do it again. I will give you those suggestions. Another goodness about this technique is I can see I can build a newer kind of a corpus bolt, which can be comparable in hydrodynamic as the hard shell kayak. That means the performance will be as good, yet it's lighter. Than much lighter than fiberglass. It is something I will try in the future. I have another idea of building corpus bolts uh, is by modularization. This technique helps me to come up with a better modular design. Um, again, there are many ideas, I just don't have enough time to try it out, but I, I look at this technique as one of the best I come across so far. And I haven't seen any similar idea in public domain. So I imagine this is the first time I dissimulate this kind of information in, into the web and in YouTube and other media. Uh, I hope you can give it a try. The concept is very simple. I melt the contacting surfaces of the corpus sheets and then I press them together. Let's start applying heat at the edge first. Don't try to heat the whole surface at once because the heat gun cannot supply enough heat to cover the whole section. Focus the heat at a small area on one surface and at the same time warm up the other surface. Watch the condition of the surfaces and try not to overheating them. Mistake number one. I should have placed a piece of wood to confine the heat so the heat will not be spreading away from the joint. This demo shown here indicated that I have overheated the sheets because the jointed sheets are laid on the floor and from my viewing angle, I couldn't see the surfaces being heated. To solve this mistake in the future, I will do that on a bench so that I can see the condition of the heated surface. After I have fused the one edge, then I can slowly work on the rest of the joint. Initially, the top sheet is very flat as I applied heat and the top sheet is softened and is slightly bent downward. This helped me to keep on applying heat to complete the joint. It would be good to have a helper to press down the area that have been heated. This is very important especially if the joint is long. If this side is submerged into the water, I can use silicon caulking material to fill up the channel openings to prevent water from getting in. Or better, I can just cut a small piece of coral plus. Using the same heat fusing technique to cover up the channel openings, please pay attention to the channel direction of the small coral plus sheet and the main sheet. They are perpendicular to each other. After all is done, I tried to pull both sheets apart. It's so strong and I'm sure it will work for me. I will do a destructive test when I have more time. There's slightly warping at the joint, which I believe I should be able to fix that. In the next video, I will discuss how I can use this technique to build a genetic kayak.
The plan for the kayak calls for 5 feet by 10 feet, but using these techniques, you can work around the size issue. Please subscribe if you find this unuseful and give me feedback. That would be very helpful. Thanks for watching.